Cool. And both of you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I'll um, try and sort some stuff out while this game's going on as well. And if we make this your last one, then, Helen, I'll see if I can take over and, and finish any more. All right, okay. So I'm going to start launching now. And I guess uh, we're going to rely on you, Robo, then, to talk a little more since Taff is going to be oh. busy. Uh, so I'm going to... Oh, the pressure. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly introduce and then you can talk about the maps. So we have Zupi towards the top right hand side of the map playing in red as Chinese. And towards the bottom left of the map we have Yinghua playing in blue also as Chinese. So a mirror matchup indeed. That means game four will be team random. Alright, so do you want to talk about Yinghua's map first? Yeah, his map is really, really open around the front and those hills are not not nice at all. His goal is semi backwards, but again, it's at the bottom of a big hill. Wood line next to it's not nice at all. That always is right in the middle, cutting out a huge chunk of the trees there. And then the left hand side, it's also open. It's just open everywhere. Yep. Um, I'm looking at it, and nice if I were anymore. if I were a waller. I would wall towards the um, to the edge of the map on the left hand side. It's actually not a massive wall there, and then wall in maybe towards the town center or go for the military buildings on top of the hill. And that's pretty much how would I how I would wall it. It's a lot more difficult around the right hand side where the main gold is. He doesn't have really nice wood lines. I mean, just that one forest at the back which has that oasis. I would say first on the camp there still because I mean the forest at the back at uh, the front rather is kind of horrendous and he's actually going for it as well and the other forest towards the left is really really far away so that's where I would drop the lumber camp unfortunately not where he's dropping it. I think an additional problem he's gonna have is that his additional golds aren't great as well like one of them's far forward with that stuff. this one yep. And then the other one's really far away from his TC off to the left next to the next best wood line he has. Mm-hmm. Like, even that's really far away from him. Yeah, and the crater effect as well. Almost all the way around his base is pretty terrible. It makes it very difficult to defend this map. Um, he's got that berries forward with the lumber camps, I guess. That's also another consideration when he was going there, uh, apart from scouting. So having a look at Zupi's map now, how do you like this one? Mm, it's, it's not really any better, really. Like, all these golds and stones are far forward. His wood lines are again mostly ruined by lakes. Like one he's on at the moment isn't too bad for the time being, but by mid feudal that's going to be pretty much useless. And then both of his north ones are looking a bit better. Like especially that top one corner of the map is starting to look a bit so far away from TC. And he could sort of wall using that cliff. But if he, if he somehow loses control of that area, and those villas just aren't going to make it back to the town center alive. Yeah, that's that's too much of all, I think, for him to go for. Um, it's really tough, because early game, I like Zupi's map slightly better than Yinghua's, mostly because of that crater effect. I mean, his gold is worse, but at the start of the game, that forest at the front that Yinghua's gone for, as well as that massive crater, just makes it so, so hard to defend. But later on, Zupi's gonna really, really struggle for wood, and he's got that main gold forward, that stone forward as well. It's a map that's uh, very vulnerable to getting forwarded. If you go for this position, you can uh, start mining the stone there. On the other hand, you really do want to go for wood if you're going to tower, and he's got his berries and lumber camp in the same place. So that would also be a very tempting place to place a first tower. We'll have to see. I don't think uh, either player will be going for forwards. They are playing as Chinese. You're going to be going to feudal a little later, so I guess with the teams, well, the sieves being the same, maybe they'll consider it. I don't like the Chinese rush as a strat because you're so late and you're never going to click up. I've never seen it work. Like, I, I think I've seen it work once. Ever. Um, but... Well, they, they can drush FC semi-decently, but with these maps, it'd be such a horrible idea for them to try it. It just wouldn't turn out well at all. If we're saying drush FC, do we mean drush and castle? Because there is no drush FC with Chinese. <laughs> oh, you could, you could still get 17... 17-ish minutes. 
Yeah, I've seen 18 a lot more common, but uh, perhaps I, I don't. I don't particularly like Drush I've seen in 1v1 to begin with, so... Um, even the well, Drush flush is pretty much impossible, is... though. Yeah, and it's not really an option to Drush FC on this map mm -hmm. for either player, just because the walls would would completely kill your economy trying to get up. The, the walls would... And as you said, like, they can't they can't tower their wood and their gold at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, they can't use that as a proxy wall sort yep. of thing. And also, another thing is, oh, Yunghua's gonna find some sheep here that Zupi, for some reason, did not find. He's all oh, one tile away from seeing that sheep. I don't know if you see it on the right hand side, so Yunghua's just oh, gonna. So close. Yeah, yeah, take that sheep away. Uh, there's one left there. He, I don't know. He's just got the Scout hanging out, and Zupi's pushing in deer towards his town center. Um, I like Scouts, uh, China. Um, you have that nice food economy, and it looks like Yinghua clicking up to Feudal Age already on 23 pop, and we'll be going for Scouts, as far as I can tell. He's not on gold. I don't see the barracks coming up. Maybe Men at Arms, another viable strategy. Uh, Zupi, on the other hand, is not clicking up just yet. He does have a lot of food income, though. So, all things considered, he should be in a pretty good position. Uh, he has those two deer, and he's pushing in his third deer towards the town center as well. And Yinghua knows this as well. He's been seeing this happen, not really doing anything to stop that from happening. And now he's just gonna annoy Zupi a little bit. Doesn't want to run to the town center, though, and almost does, but that's a, quite a bit of idle time for Zupi. I think Zupi also had an extra villager on wood earlier. Like, mm -hmm. at the start of the game, he went four on wood instead of three, so that slowed down his initial food income, so he was forced to make an extra villager right at the end there that he didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the food to click up. Yeah, so he's doing 25 pop. Uh, he's not pushing to the mill because it makes it easier to force drop, and under the town center, he's going to get the food in a little bit quicker. And Zupi did have like a double deer patch though. He has another deer patch quite close to, close to his uh, base, but it looks like he's gonna go for archers or scouts, most likely scouts, because I mean, he's not taking gold. So he's also got a lot of food. It's gonna be so late. He's gonna be forced to make at least four or five spearmen, I reckon, to be able to try to stay in this game. And the other thing is, his own scout has taken quite a lot of damage from Yinghua. Yinghua has just been a nuisance so far. You know, using your scout, do damage to Zupi's scout, delay the barracks from coming up, and well, he's I almost... Think, I think he yeah. was assuming that Zupi was about to hit Feudal Age, but mm -hmm. you know, already pretty late, almost 11 minutes. And yeah. he thought he could just delay it just a little bit before it's Feudal Age, but he's not even Feudal yet, and it's already, what, almost a quarter past 11. Well, that sounded like a time. Yeah, I was like, um, no, it's 12-something. Anyway, so we see three scouts coming out immediately for Yinghua. He's still got uh, plenty of... Well, he's got enough food to keep the vill production going, and he's dropping extra farms. He did get horse collar as well as double bid axe, so his economy looking like it's in great shape right now. Uh, Zupi's back lumber camp has now been scouted out by Yinghua, who does have the lumber camp at the forest towards the back himself now. And that bill kind of going wonky there, but it looks like that's where he will be going first. So now that he scattered that that out, but Zupi's got a spearman heading there already. They walk so funny. Interesting. Zupi hasn't actually scouted Yinghao at all, so he has no idea how bad his map actually is. Yinghua. Yinghua. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Congratul oh, well, as long as you're trying, you know. Uh, now taking gold for Zupi, so he's uh, making that transition to archers and sending the second spearman towards the back as well. But this might mean that Yinghua is going to catch him out on the gold potentially if he decides to go for that instead. Uh, let's have a look. Nope, he's going straight for the lumber cap. He's going to run right into the scouts, uh, the spears rather, and probably going to get out of there. Or not. Well, loses a scout. We'll win, see. And now he's probably going to head to the gold. Zupi's got his own scouts heading across the map. And there's three scouts. Okay, well, one spearman enough to force him away. Going to garrison up his scouts inside his stable. Zupi's got that scout on low health, so Yinghua going to come out and chase him around a bit. But then he's going to soon find out that there are extra scouts. Probably should run. And running away now. 
still hasn't made the transition to archers yet, so he's a bit late with this transition compared to Zupi. And originally, Yinghua looked like he was in a really good position with that uh, earlier Feudal Age, but he hasn't been able to do anything with it so far. Well, Zupi's mainly able to get up the archer transition a lot faster because he went up so much later. Yep, but Got also, that, yeah. the scouts haven't done anything. And Yinghua's been idling his... You know, he idled some bills in order to deal with the scouts from Zupi. He hasn't made any spearmen himself. And now he's going to get harassed back at home as well, attacking uphill with the vill. And he's going to lose the villager. Oh, wow. Horrible idea. Yep. Well, he does need those military buildings on top of that hill. Like I said, it's really difficult to defend. He just needed his own units in position. He didn't have his units in position to defend, and he wasn't able to do any damage either, so he's basically lost three or four scouts for very minimal a number of units or damage done to Zupi's economy. And now Zupi going to come in with his own scouts as well as the archers and a spearman, and there's no way Yinghua can fight this. He's got to head home right away. He sees these units already. He's going to head right back home. He has no ranged units as of yet. He doesn't even... Well, he's got one spearman, but that's not going to do much against these units from Zupi. Not queuing up any ranged units. He's only making a single scout. He's, he's just not making enough army. Yep. Well, he's got some archers coming out finally, but it's still not enough. And he's going to try and do some damage before those uh, units from Zupi catch up. The archers and the spearmen. Now he's going to bring his own spearmen forward. He's got those two vills forward that he needs to be careful of. And trying to use his own spearmen to deal with the spearmen from Zupi. But Zupi's just going to take it down with the archers. And got to run away. Meanwhile, got to run away here. He's run away with bloodlines, but I'm not sure if that was the best idea. I feel like two scouts might have been a little bit more effective. Mm, I, I I think against the spearmen, it's not actually too bad to go for the bloodlines upgrade. And now he does have bloodlines. Yep, and he should be able to clear this up. He's even releasing his archers, so... Archer. Archers. Two. Two. Plural, my friend. <laughs> oh, but it was lucky timing that second one. Oh no, the third one popped out. That was lucky timing. But uh, he did release two immediately, pretty much. Um, I'm hearing a blacksmith somewhere. Yep, Yinghua now has a blacksmith. Zupi already getting fletching. Yinghua also getting wheelbarrow now. I don't believe Zupi has that yet. And scale barding armor. So he's investing very heavily into these scouts. You better get some extra stables, or at least make some extra scouts then. Getting housed as well. I don't see a build building house, so, you know, there we go. Build building house, and runs right into the army of Zupi. More than enough archers there to take care of his army at the front. Zupi going to defend quite well. Having a look at Zupi's resources, he's not really looking much closer to going Castle Age than Yinghua right now. And he's getting bloodlines Pretty himself. quite a bit safer though. Yep. It's also a map thing. I mean, Did second stable coming up. To blow up most of his bath. Yeah. He's got the military buildings in front of his main gold, and he's just walled in towards the town centre for the lumber camp at the back, so... And Yinghua continually housed. He does have another house coming up. The second stable as well, getting fletching himself, so he wants to be as aggressive as possible now. He's gonna catch this vill out with this, uh, his scout, and immediately forcing Zupi to come back home. But there is one spear there, it's not attacking the low health scouts. And he manages to somehow get that vill. And now he's got to run away, but the archers are being sent forward by Zupi to try and do some damage. Yinghua's got quite a large army sitting on top of that hill, defending his economy, and Zupi's going to go around instead of trying to fight him uh, head, head on, which is the right thing to do here. I think he should head around instead. And town watch now for Yinghua, since he's investing so heavily into feudal age, why not? Well, now we can see how badly his wood lines are starting to become. Like, that one on the left-hand side, you can still chop those trees towards the edge of the map, but the right-hand side of that wood line is pretty much useless. And the wood line on the front, those are just going to kick off all those villages if they want to. Mm-hmm. But Yuha's yeah, got a massive uh, army. I mean, he's going to be able to take care of this army from Zupi pretty easily if Zupi fights. So Zupi's not going to fight this. He needs to get out of there. If you look at it, Zupi saving up for Castle Age. Yinghua looks like he's doing a similar thing now. And just trying to trap that army in from Zupi as much as possible. He will get the archers, it seems. 
But his own archers could get caught out here. Yeah, Zupi was pretty fast. Yinghua has got to get out of there. Okay, so Zupi's got those archers just stuck in the leg. Yinghua will lose one or two scouts there. But uh, he's still got more army. And his archers just aren't in position though. This is actually a pretty bad fight for him because his archers weren't able to get close. Darkering this really well here. Probably yeah. gonna clear up most of those. Oh, I personally probably would have kept playing that. Because a lot of those scouts are on basically no health here. Yeah. And now with Zupi's, uh, the rest of Zupi's army coming in, Yinghua, just clicking up to Castle Age a little later than Zupi, but he does have quite a few less archers than Zupi, it seems. Uh, having a look at the military, it's uh, 20 to 20, and he's still got those scouts alive, so he should have less archers. Uh, not paying attention, gonna kill off that scout. He did get scale barding armor though on his scouts, so it's another thing to consider. He's invested quite a bit more into these scouts than um, Zupi has. And Zupi's gonna Probably be fully walled. A couple of nights. Mm -hmm. Using the Countess of Meganels or something, having the extra armor. Zupi's adding in the second stable now as well, so we're seeing a third archery range from Yinghua and a second stable from Zupi. It'd be interesting. Let's see uh, what they can do. We see Zupi walling off even more. And Yinghua's army is not at home. I mean, that's quite a large army heading in by, from Zupi there. I don't think he's got enough archers back at home to deal with this. And Zupi's going to be fully walled, so Yinghua could be in a bit of trouble here at the front with those uh, archers coming in. Could be. I think there's a hole. No, he blocked that. No, hole. no, no. He blocked it with a house. Oh, that was a fast reaction. He does yeah. have town watch though, so that's something else to consider. Yeah, that's a lot of line of sight now. Yep. He loses just one bill. I think that's an okay trade for him. But he's heading straight for the spearmen with the scouts. I don't know if you want to head straight for the spearmen with your scouts. Oh, they still do so much damage. Even with the bloodlines and plus one armor. And now Zupi in Castle A. Jinghua are going to be forced away from the top of the hill at this rate. He doesn't have all of his archers together. Crossbowman and Bodkin Arrow on the way for Zupi already. Now Yinghua in Castle Age. He's trying to do as much damage as he can with his scouts, but uh, Zupi microing this magnificently, not taking much damage from the archers of Yinghua or the scouts for that matter. And Yinghua's just got to back away until he can bring all of his army together to fight this from Zupi. I think and, uh, they should be pretty much cool on upgrades by the time they fight now. Yeah, but Yinghua's... ooh, that's not great. He ran in with his it's secondary good, army. On the army as well. Yeah. Other than the Spockers that are trying to run up the hill. Mm-hmm. Like, if he could group all of them together, then it'd be a pretty, pretty even fight, I reckon. But Zupi's got those, uh, knights coming in. Yeah, they will complicate matters a little bit. Of course, Yinghua's got his own knights. Unfortunately, they're not at the front right now. In terms of vil count, barely even, 45 to 46, not much of a difference. So that one vil that Yinghua lost seems to be making the difference. Um, he does have better wood lines for later on in the game. I don't really know where Zupi's going to drop a TC, and he's actually going to drop it right in the corner, so that kind of is not a great position for him. He's got the university as well, Yinghua getting chain binding armor and ballistics already, so he's investing more into military compared to Zupi at this point in the game. Well, Love Chang actually hasn't scouted any of his other wood lines. Like other than the, the far front, mm -hmm. he doesn't have anywhere else to build TCs at this stage. Yeah. So he's, I guess, from his point of view, he's kind of with going quite heavy in Castle Age Army for the time being. Mhm. Mm oh, he's got he sees one wood line towards the left, so that's kind of an off. He's actually going to town center that wood at the front. I, I guess it's as much map control as it is resources. Because I don't really like this town center. Oh, that wood line's really tiny. It does kind of... Kind of controls that gold. But yep. I, I don't think it'd really be worth it long term. Like going for that stone towards the right on the top of the hill would be, in my opinion, better for map control mm -hmm. than that is. Uh, I don't know why there would be any background noise. I don't believe there's any 
um, background noise. I just took my headphones off for a second and I'm not hearing anything. So there shouldn't be a drone in the background. I'm not on a laptop either, so... Maybe they just don't like the sound of my voice. Ouch! I never even thought about it like that. Wow. Anyway... Oh, I, I don't need you to do it. Yeah. The drone is Robo. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was mean. Anyway, thumb ring complete for uh, Yinghua, so he's going to be a lot more effective against the knights from Zupi, and it looks like he cancelled chain barding armor for his knights as well. So he decided against that, deciding instead to invest into more eco, and there we go, there's that town center on the left hand side. He's going to see the gold a little late to throw it up um, on the gold as well, but Zupi and Yinghua heading across the map at the same time, kind of interested to see whether Zupi's going to double back when he sees this, because if he doesn't, he's going to do a lot of damage, and he immediately double, no? He doesn't see that? Or he decides not to double back? Interesting choice. He sees it now. Yeah, well, now is late. Anyway, he's not going to lose too much. He's just going to garrison those vills inside the town center. Going to lose a bit of uh, vill working time, but that's okay. Just a tiny bit of idle time. Not going to lose too much in terms of vills. And he should be just fine fighting against this. He's got a lot of crossbows, but uh, Yinghua definitely has more upgrades with the thumb ring as well as the plus two armor on his crossbows. This is not a good fight. Oh, it's be went back. I was going to say that's not a good fight because he separated his knights from his yep. crossbows. And he doesn't have the like an armor upgrade on his crossbows. And thumb yeah, ring. He's only plus one, and Ying has plus two. And Ying has got thumb ring, which is pretty major. Um, so Ying has ballistics and thumb ring. I believe Zupi has ballistics only. And he's going to stick to the hill as well. Third town center now up and running for Ying Hua. Three TCs as well for Zupi. And if Zupi runs into this army on top of the hill, that's yeah, he's going to back away immediately. He doesn't want to fight there at all. But apparently he's not going to pay attention. No, I'd be concentrating on just zoning off those two goals from Zupi. Because he's only still on his main goal at the moment. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to be sustainable for long term anything really. And like none of the secondary or the extra goals on the map favor him at all. They're both very close to Love Cheng's base. Yeah, and it's now... definitely a good place for Ying Hard to fight. Yinghua has a more army by quite a bit now. He's got 45 to 35 more upgrades as well on his army, apart from his knights not having chain barding armor. And his he is falling behind in terms of eco. That town center from Zupi, though, going to try and get a TC up on that secondary gold. I'm this, not sure. I wonder if Yinghua will actually go back from this. He could, he could afford to do all of the fighting right there now on that TC. Yeah, I think he will. He's bringing in the knights as well. Completely take out Zupi's army if he stays and fights. Oh, he was lucky there was Zupi's kind of bad patrol. Yeah, it was also not a great patrol from Yinghua. Oh, that crossbow patrol was painful to watch. Yeah, that was painful. I was going to say Yinghua just the terrible patrolling. Yeah, but it looks like he'll win that fight handily uh, with the thumb ring and the um, yeah the plus two armor, which Zupi still didn't have. But the, TC's up but the town center's up. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do too much with the town center. That's the other thing, Each. though. He's coming up from Yingha behind, so he's obviously going to concentrate all his efforts into that TC area now for Zupi. Yeah, I think he's realized that obviously Zupi doesn't have access to both of his secondary goals. It's going to be really bad later on in the game for him, and he's just going to try and keep him off that. He's also massing more and more army. He accidentally made a Cav Archer. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, he I needs. looking at Cav Archers. <laughs> I thought, is he going to switch transition to Cav Archers? Or the what? And then no, he's crossbow still. Yeah. And he's already in trouble. He's got almost no gold. He needs chain he's body armor, though. To keep his rangers and stables working at the moment. He was actually he's had idling no the entire game, though, wasn't he? I'm surprised he's he's so far behind with the eco side. Mm, it's just no idea. He's not behind. He's ahead in terms of bills. He's just not actually able to make enough army because Yinghua went really heavily yeah. into army. Ying has crossbows in the top of Zupi's base could do a lot of damage on that wood if he moves in. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing, uh, and Zupi notices. He's, he's noticed and he's run in, but still, it's all taken away from Zupi's economy, which is already struggling behind Ying Ha. So, once those rams come in on, onto that TC where Zupi's taking his gold from now, I think it's going to be really painful for Zupi. Yeah. Well, Zupi's knights are doing. Fairly well, just harassing outskirts of Lobcheng's economy. 
Yeah, he gets a few vills, but uh, Love Chang's gonna in get in through the back of Zupi's economy there with the Palisades there only. Um, I don't think Zupi has anything to stop him. He doesn't have enough crossbows. Ingar's moving into Zupi's front TC now with the siege and the yep. knights with crossbows. This this is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, and with the chain biting armor now complete, the plus two armor, there's no way Zupi can stop this. In the meantime, he's also got to deal with what's going on towards the back as well with the crossbows there, so really, really tough position for Zupi. He's being attacked on two sides here. With nothing to back it up as well. If you look, Zupi's got, Zupi's got nothing there to fight with. Yep. That's... He's got no gold, so he can't make anything to fight with. No, that's complete control for you. Oh. Yeah, you got a decent mega nail shot on the crossbows coming between the power tables, though. So. Yeah, but then the knights but are gonna clear still it up. Gone, yeah. the, you got nothing else left there, and he, he can't even he can't stop us on his wood, let alone us on that front gold TC. Oh, there's the GG. Yeah. Not not surprising. That changed really quick. It was just the gold. He couldn't control the gold, and as River was saying, if it were up to him, he would just control those two gold piles at the front. No need to really pressure any more. That's exactly what Yinghua did with the forward siege, extra knights. He immediately recognized that if Zupi could not take those two gold piles, he would be in a lot of trouble, and that was the case. So, having a quick look at the achievements, uh, 100 units killed for Yinghua to 67 lost, um, 52 to 38 largest army so investing just a lot more into army there for him he had a slightly weaker economy less food less wood less stone well that was basically dead even and uh, a little bit more gold so not too far off in terms of economy for both players and uh, well their uptimes were similar 112 to 86 vil high so zupi just investing a lot more into economy and too little into army which takes it to one to two in favor of Yinghua, and I don't have Zippy to go, to but just, how long is the next game? He just didn't, he just <laughs> didn't concentrate on gold enough, did he really? He had better yeah. eco and everything, more villagers, and actually collected less gold, and it was the gold right at the end that completely turned that game. Mm-hmm.